Let's write this fraction as a decimal. I have negative 13 over 26. As a matter of fact, you may notice that 13 and 26 have a common factor of 13, and this fraction does simplify to negative 1 half. By the way, this negative fraction will just become a negative decimal, and that's all I need to think about with the negative sign. Now let's write 1 half as a decimal. So let's divide 2 into 1, decimal point 0. We'll insert zeros as we need them, and remember there's my decimal point in my quotient. So we'll divide 2 into 10, and 2 goes into 10 5 times, so this is negative 0 decimal point 5. I just like to write a 0 before my decimal point, so this is negative 5 tenths. By the way, if you did not see to reduce this fraction, if you divide 26 into 13, you will get the same decimal number.